Welcome to today's lesson. And in today's lesson, we're going to be integrating x cosine x with respect to x. And over here on the right hand side, you can see I've just dropped in integration by parts. That's what we're going to be using. And I've got the rule here for you just as a quick reminder. Now, the first thing we need to do is to assign the u term and the dv by dx term. And as you may know, there are some rules out there that you can use, such as the Lyet rule. Now, I am not a fan of those because they do not always work. I think it's much better for you to just get plenty of question practice. So I'm going to erase that because I do not like it. OK, well, let's go ahead and tackle this question. And I'll say the first thing we need to do is to assign the u and the dv by dx. So we have let u equal and dv by dx equals. Now the u term I'm going to assign as x. And the reason is when I differentiate that, I start to reduce it. So you always want to choose the thing that will reduce. When I differentiate, that will get 1. Whereas if I chose the cosine x term and differentiated that, I would get negative sine x and I get into a cycle. So that wouldn't work. So the dv by dx term, well, that is going to be cosine x. Now with the u equals x, I need to differentiate that to get du by dx. That'll just be equal to 1. I need to integrate this to get v. And when I integrate cosine x, I get sine x. So now I've got everything I need to start to use integration by parts. So we've got the integral of x cosine x with respect to x is equal to the following. Well, we've got the u multiplied by the v. So u is x and v is sine x. We are subtracting the integral of v, which is sine x. Then we have the du by dx. That's just a 1, so I don't need to put that in. And then we've got the dx. OK, so what we've got is x sine x minus the integral of sine x is negative cosine x. So we've got another negative, which will make this a positive. And then we've got cosine x. And we just need to add on the constant of integration. If you found this video useful, then remember to give me a quick thumbs up. And if you would like to be notified when I release new videos, then hit that subscribe button and remember to click on the little notification bell.